Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Construction Simulator on the EU map as we uh, continue on the park contracts for the finale series of contracts. As always, don't forget to slap that like button. Leave comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't already, please slap that subscribe button. Smack it, smash it, whatever you gotta do <laughs> for this and many more videos. All right. <clears throat> So yeah, we're just going to be uh, digging away here. And uh, should have this done pretty quick. We got started on it in the last episode and just ran out of time. Let's see, let me zoom out just a tad. There we go. Do, 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 do. Man, I've had a whopping headache for the last week, <clears throat> and I think I mentioned it before. I didn't record yesterday because of it, and so um, I took in a leave before, like, I don't know, about 20, eh, maybe, yeah, 20, 30 minutes ago. So I'm feeling a little bit better right now, but I think, I think what has happened is about a week ago, probably this time last week, because this is kind of when it, like last Tuesday into Wednesday, some, somewhere around that time. I don't know, maybe somebody will have to go back and like rewatch my videos from last week to see when I first start complaining about it. Um, but yeah, it was, it was around that time and I just, I think I slept with my neck kinked in a odd, awkward position, and it's just, you know, not, not unkinked, I guess. I've tried popping my neck, and it won't pop, and uh, it's not fun. Uh, my mom finally got moved into her new place, and it's like a senior community. <clears throat> and I, I really hope that she's happy there and that, you know, she eats more regularly because one of the big problems has been, you know, for the last year or so is with her chemotherapy medicines. Um, it just kills your appetite. And even more so, like when she tries to make food, it's like the smell of whatever she's cooking nauseates her and then she doesn't want to eat. And so, um, so I'm hoping that, you know, but she, you know, usually, you know, if you order food or, you know, if you eat out, she does just fine. So I'm hoping that since they have, you know, on-site cafeteria, you know, cooking there, it's not really a cafeteria. I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. It's like an on-site restaurant, I guess. Um... That you know, I'm hoping that she'll start eating better, and and maybe that'll be an uh, improvement. But you know, she keeps telling me like almost all the time that her prognosis is not good, and so you know, and obviously that's hard to hear. So anyway, it's just uh, that part of it's been pretty tough to deal with, and so you know, just trying to get through every day, I guess, and make the best of it. But it's tough. I mean, I, it really gets me down sometimes, and, you know, sometimes I just wake up, and I'm... Or sometimes, it, it, not even waking up, it's more like trying to fall asleep. My mind just drifts off into all the negative things that are eventually going to happen, and it just freaking sucks. It really does. So... You know, I appreciate everybody's words of, of support. Um, you know, I read all of my comments. And, you know, even if I don't reply, believe me, I really appreciate, um, you know, all the support that that I, hear, you know, read from you guys. It just, it really does make a, it makes a big difference. So thank you. And I wanted to acknowledge that yet again. All right. 
let's get out here. But yeah, just a you know quick mom up update there. It was <clears throat> a bit of a stressful day, but it ended up turning out not too bad. So um, yeah. And then to make matters worse, and I don't know how I did this, <clears throat> I was, um, I guess I had taken my phone out of my pocket last night around 1 a.m., um, and I had just had something to eat. I was talking to my buddy Humlin on the Discord, and, and I was playing some, um, Drug Dealer Simulator 2, which I still haven't decided if I'm going to make a make some episodes on, but I don't know. We'll see. And uh, so anyway, I took my phone out of my pocket and I unlocked it because my intention was I was going to put on a YouTube video of some kind, like a football game or, I don't know, a court here <laughs> or something. And I was going to wash dishes in my kitchen. And so, so I'm sitting there washing the dishes. And the next thing you know, my phone's ringing. Like I said, it's like, I don't know, like one or a quarter after one. I, I'm not sure. Somewhere between that. In the morning, I'm like, who the heck would be calling me at this time? And it was my mom. And I'm, I immediately freaked out. Like, you know, <clears throat> has something bad happened? Is somebody else calling me from her phone? You know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And so it's her, and so she starts talking, and I'm like, I was like, why are you calling me? And she's like, she's like, you called me, and I'm like, no, you just called me. So I don't know if I hit the button on the phone, because I ended up not listening to the YouTube video immediately. I just started washing dishes, so I must have accidentally called her at like 1 o'clock in the morning, and it made me feel bad. Because she had to get up, like, super early this morning. Because the movers came at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning. And, yeah, it was pretty, uh, you know, pretty fun-filled, activity-filled day today. And so I had to do some uh, more moving around of things and reorganizing things in my own home. And uh, which is kind of still ongoing. And um, I've got tomorrow, I've got some more boxes to bring up from the basement or the garage. And okay. We did, yeah, okay, we got that part done. Excavate trench. This this seems like... Oh. Well. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? Wait. Uh... Uh... Sorry, I had a massive brain diarrhea there. Empty, yes. Uh... Oh. Okay, so I'm going to take the hint that it's got the dirt over on the right side there, and I'm going to dump my dirt in that area. Something tells me that we're going to have to come back with a bulldozer and, like, push it into the, the little ditch that we dig here.
let's go back. There we go. Up some more, forty three per cent. Forty nine, fifty six. Yeah, that was a bad scoop there. Another bad scoop, what am I doing here? One more scoop. Okay. I'm going to set him up here. And then we are going to go and take the flatbed truck. And we're going to go pick up these pipes <clears throat> and whatever else we need. I see I wish I knew what was next because <clears throat> I'd try to pick that up too but it's probably gonna be the um, the rebar because that's that's got to be what's what goes on the bottom of the fountain How is that leg blocked? <clears throat> Let's try it again. Yeah, that was weird.
Of course. Uh, let's see, how am I going to do this? Well, okay, wait. So this part should be pretty easy. Now I'm thinking of maybe transporting the rest of these pipes over to the opposite side because I don't think we're going to be able to go all the way. All the way over. Can I even, can I put these on the back of the truck? We'll see how far, was that the, no, I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's as far out as it'll go. So, let me see if I can put the rest of these on the truck. There's four of them. Yeah. I think four of them will fit on there perfectly. Okay. Now we're going to just drive up, put these on. Well, this, this step has taken way longer than I thought it would, but we don't have a tower crane, nor do I think we really need one. Thank you. 
Nice. Flatten area. See, that's exactly what I thought. Wait, what? It's already pretty freaking flat. Um... No. It's what the motor grader was made for. I mean, technically it is. Am I just supposed to pick this up and put it in the, like, get it in a dump? Okay, this is gonna really tick me off. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. All right, I mean, we're going to flatten it. I'm not going to touch that the little hole there because if you look at it, it's already green. So that's going to stay green. Don't touch the hole. Fifty four per cent.
Okay, let's empty this. Seems like we're getting less. No, this is all maxed out. Okay. Let's just, let's just send him back. And back into the wheel loader. Did I deploy the ripper? I'm always deploying the Ripper. <laughs> Not that Ripper. Wait, there's that ditch there. We gotta be careful. I don't know if we're actually pulling dirt out of that or not. All right, so two more scoops and we'll be done with this step, 41% total. I did not, oh, 99%, nice. I did not think that we would be using the wheel loader to the extent that we have on the, this job. Okay. OMG. All right, where's our gravel delivery truck? Ugh. This is like the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna do the best that I can. Looks like water. Look at it rippling out. No way. That's 50% right there. This might not be so bad. We're not going to get it done before dark, but hey.
Well, that wasn't so bad at all. Okay, so now we have to clear everybody off. All right. Oh, wait. No. Yes. No. Oh, my gosh. It's like I forget how to play this game sometimes. Yet I play it almost every day. All right. So now we've got to get everybody else out of here. I thought that was a golden hammer down there. Look. <clears throat> I can't see it now because the lights... Oh yeah, I guess the lights still reflecting on it. What is that? Oh, it's like a, it's like a viewer telescope thing. I remember when I was a little kid and I went to Germany, they had those things everywhere. And I was just running out of Deutschmarks to pop in those things to, to see the whatever, the castle or the river or the, you know, who knows what. Oh, nice. It got everything on board. Okay. I didn't think it was, and I was... I paused there for a second to kind of think to myself how I was going to load that up. Three of three, and the you bought our mesh. Now, we're probably going to have to unpack. However, those are concrete bags, which means 
that we may not need to pour concrete. It might just happen. Unpack construction materials. So yeah, that's going to be the vapor barrier and everything. And then now we have to pour, of course. Of course. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to teleport the heck. What in the monkey? Okay, let's go out and get this. Can't see. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> oh. Oh no. We're going to have to move the truck. Gersh darn it. Well, at least we don't have to go too far.
Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun! Alright, we'll see what this does. I have no idea. Okay, makes sense. Oh, no. No! Um, alright. It is what it is, folks. It is what it is. What the heck? This is like a racetrack. What the heck? Okay. Boo doozer time. A boo doozer. Okay, forty percent. Too much. I'm thinking this is going to be all we're going to need. We shall see.
All right, so bulldozer here. Got an 82 there, that's not bad. Now I'm hoping I can push more of this over to the left. Ninety nine awesome. Now it's gonna be finished. No, I think we still have plenty to do. Oh, we're 71% complete with the job, though. I think I'm going to be really upset if I have more concrete pumping to do. People are going to be like, nee, he has more concrete pumping to do. I have a feeling I'm going to need the flatbed crane or the flatbed truck with crane. Or not. Excavate planting. Oh, this is... Where is our mini excavator? There. Okay, we're going to try it with this one and we're going to see if I can just go chomp, you know, one or two scoops. If it if it turns into a big pain, I'm going to bring the big cat in and we're going to use that. I love how somebody's already come along and done 22% and also 5% of another one.
right about there, I'm thinking. Okay, next one up right here. Okay, probably one more scoop off of this one. Yep. The heck? Is it me or is this hole smaller? Yeah, that's definitely smaller. This is by far my favorite mini excavator. I remember when it remember when it first came into the game and it was having problems like like it had to be on like perfectly flat ground in order to deploy properly. Now it just works. It's great. And then with the Toby eye tracker, it's even better. Um, if you guys are interested in picking up a Toby eye tracker, use my referral link down in the video description and you'll get usually 15% off. Um, it's almost always on sale. So uh, if that's something, you know, if you're on PC and you want that eye and head tracking, actually, I don't have eye tracking on. I just have it all head tracking. It's great for that. Okay. Two, two more. So what's after this? Just I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be bringing in these trees. I'm going full throttle and it's just not... 
It doesn't go very fast, and then all of a sudden it like goes really fast. Okay, and this one's the bigger hole. That we have to dig. Deliver seeds. What did I tell you? I'm going to deliver him back to the base. I don't foresee using it again for this mission. Contract. But who knows? <laughs> we might. Oh, no. Okay, these are going to require... Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to store that. I'm going to teleport him home. I'm going to get that guy. We're going to get the long trailer, and we're going to pick up these trees. I'm thinking we're going to be able to get like four of them on here. Did I just make a boo-boo? I might have just made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I don't want to hear it, guys. I don't. I really don't. I guess I'll take you.
guns behind me. Alright, let's try this again. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting it to be this much, this like this painful. Just I wasn't. He's going back home. Now we got to get out the flatbed truck with Crane. We have to pick up the sap. I know. I know, guys. I'm just as sick about it as you are. I don't, I don't even know where it is. There it is. Oh. Hamagile. Uh, enter. Can we get done before sunset? I absolutely not. There's just no way.
I am I am destined to put these trees in tonight. Okay, we're 82% done. We probably only have to do the sod, so I'm going to... We're going to wait till the next episode, and we're going to do the sod. That'll be the whole episode. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Everyone's uns unsubscribing right now. All right. Pallets of sod go back there. We're going to take our coffee break. I'm going to take a water break. My mouth is dry. Okay. That's a little better. I feel like we're going to have to go and pick up a fountain or something and bring it back. I don't know, though. I swear, if we're going to need a bulldozer to sweep that dirt into the... Well, I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I've never seen sod packed in boxes like that before. All right, we're 84% done. Is this going to be 100%? I don't know. 100%. Well, 85%. Now it's going to be 100%. Hey, Lair. She looks like a detective. I was never a big fan of these over-romanticized ideas of the Middle Ages. But here, you can really picture high society strolling around. It's worth traveling to the castle for these grounds alone. In addition, it would be possible to hold more events, such as classical concerts, in the open air. It's truly a park for all the senses. Even smell. Wait. Oh. Well, I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't have. Yeah, like we should have been. We should have gone and picked up that fountain thing. There's no. <clears throat> There's no um, statues. I think those would have been cool. Who knows? Those might come up in a later, you know, later job. I feel like something's got to happen over here because there's, like, deadness. So let's see. Campaign finale. So curtain up. The planned castle festival is the last hope to save one of the city's most historically significant sites. Once an appropriate stage has been built, local theater troops or tropes will surely line up to perform here. Um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll choose that in the next episode. Episode. I think that's going to go right in here because see how there's kind of like this natural slope down. So yeah, I think the next episode is going to happen in here. I don't know how many episodes you think it'll take two or three, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't have an answer. But um, guys and gals, thank you all so much for joining me for yet another episode of Construction Simulator. Um, I will see you later. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Brad M73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.